Welcome. This video is the second in a series which introduces Axes, Lanza's modernization tool that automatically transforms RPG and Cobalt applications into web applications without having to change a single line of code. Part 2, Auto GUI. In the previous video, we saw what your screens would look like running in a browser as soon as Axes is installed. In this video, we will focus on what your screens could look like by applying a set of global rules to apply styles and controls across your entire application. Here I've created my own custom login page. And you'll notice throughout the application that the content has been centralized. I've allowed space on the left and right. Again, that's fully configurable. I'm going to log in. And we're presented with the Display Program Messages page. You'll notice some slight styling, so I've changed the styling a little bit of the text, and I've also added a logo. And that is globally. I've done it in one place, and now the Axis logo will appear on every page. Same with the buttons. I've set the styling of the buttons, so now they're blue rather than the default gray. I'm going to press Enter. You'll notice some previous differences with the first video, in that now the icon has changed, so I've given it a nice blue icon. And I've also added the menu option numbers. And again, this is at a global level, so I do it in one place and it applies across the entire application. All my input fields have now this light background to show that it's actually input capable. And I still drive around the application in the same way. So option 21, going to work with customers, there's my position too. You'll notice I've got rid of the black bar at the top in favor of just a white background. The position two, you'll notice that this is an input field. So of all we have on an input field is a different color background and a, a, a bar on the bottom. So I can do position two like that and press enter. So file options again are still missing as in the previous video. If I go to subfile select and select, you'll see that I've brought up the subfile options. Notice that the background of the pop-up box is a different color. Again, that is a global setting. It'll apply to anywhere where we see the subfile options. I'll press enter details. And now we see the customer details screen. You'll notice that I've replaced the pop-up for the discount code, the prompt, with a drop-down. So that now, rather than pressing the F4 key, I can use my um, mouse cursor to select the down arrow and select from the drop down. Again, this is pulled directly from the database and applied across the entire application. So wherever I see discount code, I will now have a drop down function applied to it. So that's an example of a global control that is applied across the entire application. I press enter. If we go into the address information, you'll notice we have the same sort of control. So rather than now a simple uh, state code being applied, we can now select from a drop down. Likewise, the bill ship address is now a checkbox. So we've replaced the yes, no field with a checkbox. And that is on a global basis. So using those global rules, I don't have to do any specific changes to specific screens. I can apply it across the entire application. And at that point, once we've done that, we can then start looking at where we want to add value. Join me in part three where we'll look at how we can add value to a screen by adding data tables, charts, and maps.